experience by microgravity or by model microgravity that people have studied. So the hypothesis is that this triggered antibiotic resistance will happen in the wild type in microgravity, but won't happen in the mutant microgravity because it doesn't have that gene. And that's what we'll look at in this one. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Um, anybody know why this is the most important organism on here? Anyone speak Spanish? What's the yes. Spanish word for beer? Yeah, okay. So cerevisiae, um, and so Saccharomyces has to do with sugar. So this makes sugar into beer. This is brewer's yeast. That's why it's the most important organism on this on the page. Um, but it's it's a it's a fungus. It's a it's a very well studied model organism. Um, so we send the cerveza organism into, we sent it into orbit in 2009, and we looked at its response to an antifungal drug at various, various different concentrations, and I'll show you some results from that. Um, in a few years now, we will look in a spacecraft called BioSentinel at a very different sort of biological process, but again, in the same organism, um, that's DNA double strand breaking repair. So we're looking at that in the context of radiation damage to DNA that occurs in deep space. Now, Bacillus subtilis is a, a spore, it's a bacterial spore, and that flew into Oreos that I'll tell you about today, and there we looked at the survival of them. Um, we put in a proposal recently, which may or may not get funded, to use um, this same organism and study mutations in the context of lithopanspermia, which basically means that organisms can get trapped in a crack inside a rock and transported from one body to another, in a, whether it's in our own solar system or another, another planetary system that might exist out there. People have long speculated that life might have moved from Earth to Mars or Mars to Earth this way by asteroids striking the surface, picking up a piece of rock that had some 